gonna talk a little bit about an experience I had a couple of weeks ago. Recently, I was able to take photos inside of the White House, and I'm not gonna talk about the politics regarding why I was there or anything like that because my channel isn't about politics. But I was in the White House, and this was my second time taking photos there, and there's a few things I learned, and these are things that you generally don't find on Google. So let me just talk to you a little bit about my experience. First off, there's gonna be a lot of waiting, and I mean a lot. Be prepared to arrive several hours before you're actually scheduled to photograph uh, whatever you're photographing, whether it's a press conference or something else. Of course, there's gonna be intense security check. There's gonna be very specific times that you're allowed to go in and then you're gonna have to wait around in one of the holding rooms. Um, so that's number one. And secondly, one of the most important things I learned is to bring your own step stool. The first time I photographed in the White House, I did not know this. I mean, this isn't something that you can just Google and there's, you know, an article that says, if you're photographing inside the White House, please bring a step stool. There's nothing like that. It's just something that you see, that you experience when you're there. The first time I was there, I did not bring a step stool. And when I was in the press conference room and everything got started, all the other photographers and videographers and media teams, they all had these giant step stools and they were like way taller than me. And uh, they had their places reserved with their step stools. And I'm just trying to find a spot. I'm like trying to photograph over people's heads, like holding up my camera for like an entire, I don't know how long it was, half an hour maybe. Just trying to get like good angles. Meanwhile, everybody else is like what, five feet taller than me and their lives are so much easier. So bring a step stool. Aside from giving you a lot more height when you're photographing a press conference at the White House, a step stool is also used to sort of like reserve your space in the room. There's something called preset which occurs short time before the actual press conference starts and that's when all the photographers and, and videographers can go into the press conference room uh, set up and for those that don't have anything to set up like a lot of like still photographers they put their step stool in the spot that they plan to stand and that officially reserves their spot and trust me you want to reserve your spot because if you don't you're gonna have nowhere to stand when the press conference starts and it's a mess in there I mean trust me bring a step stool so I bought this step stool right here on Amazon for like 20 bucks or something. And the second time that I photographed in the White House, it really just like made everything so much easier. One, when there was preset and all of the uh, you know photographers and videographers went into the press conference room, I was able to reserve my spot with this step stool and it just made everything so much easier. I didn't have to worry when I got in later about where I'm gonna stand and get yelled at by everybody else. And two, I was so much taller. It just made everything so much easier when I had like a good, nice view, instead of like trying to raise my arms above everybody's heads. So this was like one of the best purchases I made. All right, get ready to be pushed. When you're photographing an event inside the White House, um, yes, you're photographing alongside other photographers and videographers, but when it comes to like getting into the press conference room and getting your spot, these photographers turn into like paparazzis or I don't even know what to call it. But basically there's like a mob of people all trying to get the best spot. There's a lot of pushing and shoving and keep in mind they're holding their step stools so you're getting hit in the face with a step stool. You're getting shoved by like people that are, well in my case, way taller than me and it's like survival of the fittest. Uh, so be prepared for that. Wear shoulder pads. Oh, just kidding. You don't have to wear shoulder pads. Once I arrived in that room, I couldn't get any sort of like spot in the center of the room. I was sort of on the side and that was the best I could do. I mean, it's really, it's really tough. And I'm sure all of these seasoned photographers and videographers out there have mastered the art of getting in first, but personally I have not. And finally, just a little bit of advice. Bring a really good zoom lens and bring a wide angle. Basically, I used two lenses to photograph uh, the press conference. I used um, one, the 70 to 200 f2.8 Canon uh, version 2 L series lens. That was great, gave me the zoom I needed. Um, but then I also had my wide angle, the 16 to 35 millimeter uh, Canon lens version 3. Um, and that gave me a couple of really nice wide angle shots of the whole room. So those were pretty much the two lenses. I didn't really use anything else, even though I brought other lenses, but I only used those two. 
that pretty much sums up my experience at the White House. And if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something, please give this video a thumbs up or leave me a nice comment or better yet, subscribe to my channel. That would make me super happy and motivate me to produce more videos. Thanks so much and enjoy the rest of your day.